In today's tutorial, we're looking at finishing off the second part of Albert the Clown. In the last tutorial, I showed how I got an AI generated image and then traced Once over upon it. A time, there was a clown who could juggle balls. I'm going to pause it because there's audio and I don't want it to uh, cover my voice. But um, I traced the AI image and it's pretty easy. Anyone can do it, whether you have artistic talent or not. And then the second part with the juggling balls was easy as well. I just drew circles and then I um, then I transformed them in a loop. As you can see in my timeline here, these are just two uh, keyframes, but the ball is going up and down, up and down, up and down because they're in a in a loop. And you know that in Simple Scribe, it's easy to set things in a loop simply by choosing a loop mode. Okay, when you go to animations, you can just choose a loop mode. Um, in this case, I've got ping pong, which means it will loop forwards and then it will do the reverse going backwards or you could just have a normal loop where it goes forwards and then jumps to the start again both are viable ways of doing it but then i left it off there and i didn't really get into scene two now scene two first of all i have to go into the global space where i show this where it shows you the scene structure and the global timeline you just tap on the little button at top there next to timeline and then click on the scene you want to enter what I really wanted to show you in this one was how to generate voiceovers if you don't have any. It's fairly simple. You just go to add, click on voiceover, and then you type in anything that you want. So in this case, I'll type in anything that I want. Um, and that's it. And then, you know, you've got a, you've got a few options here on Simple Scribe. You can go with the OpenAI voices, of which there's a few to pick from. Or you can go for the really high quality voices with human AI. I prefer the human voices. They're always great. And in fact, I've got a personal favorite right here, which is Vince Douglas. Um, always sounds natural and calm and realistic. Um, so yes, you can generate the voiceover simply by tapping there, giving it a few seconds. I'm not even going to pause the video because normally this gets done fairly quickly. And before you insert it into the, into the audio, you could just listen to it. Uh... Anything that I want. Yeah, I mean, I really like that. You can obviously he starts with a uh, his bit of artistic interpretation, but you can always give it a description of how you want him to read it, and you can always generate a few before you decide on one. So, if say I went to Open AI and I went with a generic Open AI, um, yeah, Open AI one's faster. As you can see here, I've got the human one I can listen to. I've got the Open AI one I can listen to. So I can, I can actually compare them. Uh, anything so that I that, that's the uh, human AI. Anything that I want. And that's the Open AI one. Pretty plain. Now you see what I'm saying. Like they're, they're quite different. And when you're done, you just click on Use this audio, and you won't see the audio file inside the scene that you put it in. It goes to the global timeline because many times you want your music to span across different scenes and you want your voiceovers to span ac across as well. And this is why I naturally put them on onto the onto this uh, global timeline. As you can see, I've got the audio right there. And you can obviously copy it and put it into another file if that's what you wanted to do. Now, if say say you imported an, an audio voiceover of yourself or got from somewhere else and you didn't generate it here, you can always transcribe as well simply by tapping transcribe and then you, you press on transcribe and then it will come out with a uh, with like a timed voice text to speech so that it's like exactly on time. I would show you guys that now. Um, um, but I won't. I'll save it for another time. But just know that you've got that option there. And obviously you've got the volume control there to try and blend your audio together. Now, as for the scene itself in the second part, I basically did something similar. Um, again, Come I traced... Double chess. Uh, anything that... Okay, the, the audio is playing But I traced the image again and then I drew two chairs by myself. And then I had them go over three points. This time they're not in a looping... They just go once, so they go from one keyframe, that one keyframe to the next keyframe. And by the way, you only have to put them in these keyframes, and the and the and the and the emotion in between is interpolated. That means it's done automatically. So I created the three three points, and it looks like it's juggling chess. If I wanted to, I could put that on a loop, and it would carry on until the end of the track or end of the block itself, which I can extend for as long as I want. 
And that's the great thing about, you know, Simple Scribe is that we have such an intuitive way of working where everything is on this timeline and you have timeline controls. You can lock things. For example, um, this is locked, so I can't really interact with it or move it, but I can always unlock that um, hide, hide tracks, you know. It just gives you a great deal of flexibility. And of course, the timeline, I can zoom in as well if I really want to have more real estate in what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I think I think that's enough for, for the second part. I think I've hit the five minute mark, which is what I wanted to hit. But there is so much more to cover. So please stay tuned. Please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another video.